So someone told me to check out LeBron James's is it James James's SP speech. I think he was being awarded because he broke the all-time leading scorer record. Which congrats to him. It may not necessarily mean that he was the greatest scorer, just means that he was the one that played the longest, you know, compared to the other people and played the most games. Because someone like Jordan would have been way, way ahead if he had played as many games as LeBron James. Let's just be real. So I'm going to be checking out this video. I'll put the link down in the description. I can already predict what this will be about. I'm sure LeBron James praised himself, talking about how great he is and all that. So I'm not, I'm not sure I'll really be surprised, but maybe he said worse. Maybe he said things that were actually very, very terrible and narcissistic. So let's just check it out. LeBron James is obviously still playing at a very high level. One that we have become accustomed to over the last <laughs> two decades. As evidenced uh, by his latest hilarious choke job in his most recent NBA playoff appearance. A magical Western Conference Finals run behind a plethora of elite contributions from a number of teammates. Which culminated in yet another predictable playoff sweep for the self-proclaimed king behind his putrid clutch time performances, shooting a pathetic 7 of 23 in the fourth quarters while breaking this game-tying three with 45 seconds left in game one. I mean, you see LeBron fans all the time online trying to give him, give him excuses that he tried his best, he played well, he's 38, what do you expect him to do? I mean, choose one. If he does something great, you guys will not let us hear anything. Talking about how great he is at 38. If he looks his age and, and someone brings that up, you'll be like, he's 38, what do you expect him to do? I mean, what? I mean, choose one side. Seriously, like, this is ridiculous. This guy, obviously, is very, very good at padding stats. He's going to get those rebounds. He's 6'9", 260. He should get rebounds. He's going to get his assists. Like, I've, 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 I've mentioned on this channel, he has high IQ. He has a passing genius, so he's going to get his assist. But in terms of his scoring, he was very terrible in the first quarter. And to, to, make, to, to make you understand this, the Lakers were close in all those games that compared into a sweep. The, the Lakers were close. But they lost all those games in the fourth quarter, for the most part. And LeBron James was terrible in those fourth quarters. But all of a sudden, no, no. His fans would just bring up the fact that he averaged 27 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, and over 50% true, true shooting percentage. I mean, LeBron, LeBron fans love this, love stats so much. Everything is always... And, and he knows it because no, no matter how bad LeBron performs, he's going to find a way to pad those stats. So that at the end of the day, he can always say, oh, look at me. I played well. It's not my fault. Always it. And to make matters worse, at the end of everything, instead of him to just quietly go away, you now brought up the fact that he could retire. I mean, who the hell? If you if you were actually out there, actually believe that LeBron James could actually retire, I have an airport to sell to you. Like you have no sense whatsoever. This guy was clearly never going to retire. Clearly. Jesus. Blowing this layup that would have made it a two-point game with under 30 seconds left in game two, and then drilling the side of the backboard <laughs> on this shot, which would have tied the game with under 30 seconds remaining in game four. But LeBron did what he has done best through his career in the wake the of his disappointing defeat. Normal. Effect blame by releasing his media flunkies to whine about an obviously manufactured made-up injury. Well, let me say this to all the critics out there. The man is 38. And Stephen A., you alluded to it about him not being 100%. Damn it, he needs surgery. While attempting to usurp all credit, attention, or praise for anyone else like the Denver Nuggets, who just waxed their ass in four straight games by pondering about his alleged retirement. That was so funny. Me I mean, going, going. this guy is so good. I'm not going to lie. Like, he's very, he's very, very media savvy. I wish Kobe was as good as a media savvy guy as this guy. Seriously. This guy has, has been able to build and mold his career from when he was a teenager when he entered the league he has been able to mold it in a way that he almost um, it's almost like he sits down there and plans everything out like okay how am i going to do this if i lose how am i going to do this everything is so planned out actually i give him credit for that this guy is so great at this game of basketball 
a lot to think about. As if the biggest drama queen in all of sports history would ever just quietly slip into retirement. Mm. But ending weeks of media-fueled speculation at the chosen one's behest, LeBron himself stepped to the podium of the ESPYs to end any and all speculation that he is in still fact the most insufferable and egotistical figure in all of sports. In a career spanning 20 years and producing a vast and incomprehensible amount of cringeworthy, nearly vomit-inducing moments, LeBron is still getting better, still improving and delighting us with more. Sure, he has chosen one tattooed on his own back, refers to himself as the king, took his talents to South Beach. Um, in this form, I'm gonna take my talents to South Beach. Calls himself the GOAT. That one right there made you the greatest player of all time. Even recently showed up to a party he threw himself with two live goats. So much <laughs> effort to get us to look at him and give him oh, his respect. Man. All my damn respect too. As if any other all-time greats had to go to these laughable lengths. But for a I mean, guy, seriously, he, think about this right now. There's no other, there is no other all-time great that I've ever had waxing about the fact that he deserves his respect. I am the GOAT, I am the best, I am the king, I am the everything. There is no other all-time great that I've ever seen. Like even the ones that I was not alive when they were playing. I have not seen any that just keeps talking about this. It's almost like he's trying to put it in your mind. Remember, I'm the GOAT. Remember, I'm the GOAT. Remember, I'm the GOAT. 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 I mean, I'm the finest guy on YouTube, right? But you'll never hear me brag about that shit. <laughs> I mean, seriously, man. This guy, this guy is just, I don't know, man. I don't like using the word narcissist. I think people overuse that word a bit narcissistic. Any, any, anybody that is a bit confident, people don't bring up the word that is narcissistic. This guy is actually narcissistic. I'm not going to lie. This guy actually is narcissistic. He doesn't let you hear the end of it. You must, you must accept that he's the goat. You must accept that he's the king. I mean, you should learn from this guy. I am the king. Any man who must say I am the king is no true king. Super team after stacked super team and has only managed to squeak out four titles in 20 years. We all <laughs> see you working out there, Braun. It is a testament to his marketing efforts and his vast array of jock sniffers in the mass media that his name you. is included in GOAT conversations at all. And for a guy who has been calling himself the GOAT for years, why not kickstart this SB acceptance speech off with his wife calling him the GOAT as well? Wow, we really? The, stage, the GOAT, respectfully, LeBron James. The delusion runs so I mean, deep in the... I like it. Okay, let me not uh, let me not say it in a bad way because people just get offended so much. But I think LeBron James is the luckiest man ever when it comes to his wife. I mean, there are very very few women that would just sit down there and allow you to take the spotlight. A lot of women, at least in the modern times, maybe in those days, women could just stay at, at the background. But in the modern times, every woman just wants to be in front of, you. even if you are greater than her in every aspect. She still wants to be in front of you. I mean, like, you see Steph Curry's wife all the time embarrassing him. So, LeBron James is just so lucky. I mean, if there's one thing that he did very, very right in his life, is this woman. I mean, this woman, I don't even care. Like, I keep hearing about divorce, 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 50%, 50%, you know, in, in, the, in the U.S. all the time. I keep hearing this thing. But if there's one woman that I have seen in all the celebrities that I've, I've, I've been following in the past, since I've started following any celebrities, that deserves, that can take half. If I were LeBron James, she could take half and I would not feel bad about it. I'm serious. Like, I know I'm sounding like a simp. You can never understand the value that a woman like that offers to a man. You can never understand it. It's not tangible. You can't really, you know, count it. Like a man can say, okay, I give her, I give my wife money all the time. You can't really pinpoint it. But she's, she's incredible. Like, I have to say, LeBron James is one lucky motherfucker. I have to say that one, first of all. So, 
I, I don't really blame her. I mean, she's just bigging up her husband, so I'm not going to castigate her. But I'm very sure LeBron James did something worse after this. This inner circle. But then it was time for Emperor LeBron to take the stage. Coming onto the red carpet for the ESPYs, looking like he just got finished destroying Toontown. <laughs> but once he actually hit the stage, LeBron started giving us a brief glimpse into what his next possible career might entail once he finally and mercifully does decide to retire stand-up comedy <laughs> my 20 years playing this game and in all the years before um, i've never ever cheated the game <laughs> but the one thing you will always do um is, res is respect me and appreciate uh the way i approach the game and what i, I mean this, this dude this dude lebron then let it be known that he has been openly pondering retirement for a couple of years now. Truth is, I've been asking myself this question at the end of the season for a couple years now. And that stats, in fact, do not matter to him. What? Whoa! Just before dropping this epic announcement that he would be returning for a 21st season. The day I can't give the game everything on the floor, the day I'll be done. Lucky this guy is good. I mean, not today. I have to say, this guy is good, man. This guy is fucking good. I'm telling you, this guy is so good. He's so good at controlling the narrative. This guy is actually a genius. I'm, I'm serious. This guy is a media genius. He should have been a YouTuber. Seriously. <laughs> or a social media influencer. Actually, actually if he was not 6'9", 260 and athletic as fuck, he would have been a very, very good social media influencer. Seriously, this guy is great. I'm telling you, this guy is incredible. I have to give that to him. Nobody cares. So there you have it. The King of Cringe continues to wow us off the court, as always, while the King of Choke, who has been coming up short when it really matters for the better part of two decades, will continue to flame out there as well for at least one more year. I mean, I have to say, this is... <laughs> This guy, I love this guy's channel. I think I'm checking out his videos now. This guy is so funny. He's, he's almost he's almost saying almost all the things that are in my brain. I cannot put it out. Like I can't arrange it the way he's arranging it. Seriously, like this guy is just I don't know. I guess other people have been fooled. They, they nothing you can really do about it. I mean, he has controlled everything, controlled the narrative, controlled like nothing he can do. So this guy will continue playing. I mean, this man was on the verge of losing his precious trick of games of at least 10 points. And he was injured. A serious injury. This guy stayed in the game and hit a three-pointer to make it to 10 points, just to keep his record. And he doesn't care about records, right? I mean, give me a break. But I have to give him that, like, his drip in, in this show was, was great. I did some really, really good drip. I have to, I have to admit that one. Like, this some really good drip. But this guy is just, man... I mean, always calling himself the king, you know, doing all these things all the time. All these things, like... Anyway, guys, <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you on the next one. Like the video as well to get this video out to more people. Peace.